Thank you for joining us as we explore some of the key economic uh, updates from the month of May. Um, first off, I think we got the trade numbers fully for the first quarter of uh, 2018. And what that does show you is there has been a continuous uh, decline in import expenditure. And that has now continued for five straight months heading into March as well. Uh, with the slump in, in import expenditure, we've also seen the trade deficit contract about 44% in the first quarter and exports uh, doing uh, you know about 5% in this time period has also helped uh, bring down the trade deficit. Uh, so that overall mirrors the slowdown that we're seeing in private sector credit growth and the growth decline that we're also seeing. And I think with the uh, tourist, uh, tourism impact happening post the uh, attacks as well, we could see uh, some of the import related expenditure uh, related to tourism weighing in and import expenditure may be declining for the remainder of the year as well. Um, the impact so far that we've seen since the 21st of April, uh, what we can visibly see in, in terms of the currency is only a slight depreciation of about 0.8% uh, since the 21st till uh, the end of May. But this, uh, if you look at it more from the start of the year, where the, the rupee has still strengthened uh, compared to that. Uh, we've seen on the growth side, a lot of forecasters stating that, you know, growth could be even under 3%. Uh, Fitch Ratings expects it to be 1.5% uh, less than uh, its expectation of 3.6% prior to the 21st. Um, and I think from an FDI and, and uh, investment point of view also, there are concerns on uh, that front as well. Um, if we zoom out of Sri Lanka and we look at what's going on uh, globally as well. The key uh, item on the agenda has been the trade um, the trade war and in particular what it is meaning for uh, the world trade outlook and world growth outlook. Uh, just as we thought that you know things will be resolved on the world uh, on, on the China US trade war things have now um, re-emerged. More tariffs have been put from the US side and then China as well uh, and that has really caused a lot of uh, concerns especially uh, in terms of some of the supply chains that supply both to China and to the US. Uh, Brexit is also continues to be another item on the agenda and now we know that uh, the UK Prime Minister will, will resign uh, on the 7th of June and what we'll expect after that is also a lot of uncertainty but the now Brexit date has been pushed to uh, the end of October. Uh, so that on the trade side is really clouding uh, the global uh, demand side of things and that's something we'll have to monitor given our exposure to markets like the US and uh, the European Union. So that's a quick sum up of the key developments during the month of May. Um, next month and in, in, the, in the upcoming quarter as well, we'll be heading into the second half of 2019 and we can explore how uh, that outlook really will turn out to be. So stay tuned for monthly economic updates on economy.lk.